Hey, it's Dr. Hillary from Rangeline Chiropractic. I wanted to show you how to make a hand sanitizer. I know that right now there are some um, like shortage of sanitizer and you know at our office we use essential oils and a lot of doTERRA products. So I'm gonna show you how to use and make a little like hand sanitizer. So I'm using these like two ounce bottles with a little spray cap on it. Um, my recipe, which I'll post later, calls for um, witch hazel, uh, water, coconut oil, and then the essential oil. So I'm gonna kind of tell you which ones I'm using. So I put the water in already because I was actually afraid that me pouring it into this little thing, I would get it all over and I didn't want to embarrass myself too much today. So I chose to just put it in. So I've got my ounce of water and then I've got my witch hazel, which now that I look at that is also gonna be difficult to pour into it. Um, so I'm gonna put an ounce of witch hazel so this bottle is two ounces, so it works perfect for that. So I can kind of eyeball it. At home, I probably would use an actual measuring device, but I didn't bring that today. And then a tablespoon coconut oil. Um, I use a fractionated coconut oil. Um, doTERRA makes a great one, and I love the size and how easy it is to pour, but there's a lot of other ones because we also use fractionated oil in the office for some of our therapy. So it's really easy to find, I mean, I obviously use Amazon a lot because it's quicker and easier and then I don't have to go to the store. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the coconut oil into my bottle that has the water and the witch hazel. And yep, it's still making a mess. But we knew that would happen today. Um, good thing it's just coconut oil. And then my recipe calls for 15 to 20 drops of your oil. So. I am gonna use a lemon, a orange, and a Melaleuca blend. So Melaleuca's other name is tea tree, in case you didn't know that, I've been educating people. So if I'm using three different oils to make my sanitizing recipe, then I'm gonna break up the 15 to 20 drops. So I'm gonna use like five-ish drops of each. Um, so it's kind of hard sometimes to get in. So one, two, three, four, five, and then, oh, five and a half-ish. Okay, and then we're gonna put my um, lemon. One, two, three, four, five-ish. And the wild orange, which is our favorite here in the office. We diffuse that a lot. Right now we're also diffusing different protective blends in the office to help with viruses and bacteria in the air. And so we'll do one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna love the smell of that one. And then I've got a topper somewhere oh here it is these are nice i got all of this stuff on amazon um little spray bottle toppers so i'm gonna mix that up in there too shake it and then you'll see like some of the oils in there kind of moving around so i personally would shake this every time before i use it especially if you're not using that often um and just spray it on so we use a lot of sanitizer in the office and I thought this would be fun. Like, even my kids love to make this at home. And there's a lot of different recipes you can find online. So the lemon and the orange are natural disinfectants and they smell wonderful, so you'll like that. And then the tea tree, also called Melaleuca, is um, used to kill like viruses, bacteria, mold, fungi, and it's uh, anti-inflammatory too. So great for this time of year. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make your own hand sanitizer. There's probably a lot of recipes to use. If I use another one, I will post it and I'll also try to post the recipe for you to use. So um, have fun making your hand sanitizer today.